What is going on guys? It's Mr. Giant D coming at you guys with some more NCAA 14 Ultimate Team. And today we got a good game. I must say this is probably easily the closest game we've had on this channel. I mean, it was it was crazy. But as you see, we're going to receive first. I'm going to run off tackle with Bo Jackson and he gets some blocks. And this dude misses the dive and Bo Jackson's going to go all the way on the first play of the game what a way to start man I mean we're looking good seven nothing I'll take that every day but this dude will come out passing as you see he's got Cam Newton but Roy Williams intercepts the ball and nearly took it all the way but one of the linemen caught him so another uh, nice way to start the game uh, then we run a counter with Bo he only gets five yards but I'll take that so second and five We'll run off tackle this time, and he just somehow gets all the way down to the five, man. Like, he's like glitching through, dudes. I don't even know. But first and goal, I'm going to run off tackle again with Bo, and I probably should have stayed inside because Paul Malo had me on the outside there. Second and goal, I'm going to run a read option. I'll keep it with Vince, but his lineman chased me down, and we lose yards there. Third and goal from, like, the 10. I'll come out passing, and I... That was a risky throw, but I did find Randy Moss in the end zone. Uh, so we'll be up 14-0. This dude will come out passing. And uh, he finds his man as he gets knocked out of bounds there. So that will move the chains. Another first down. Come out passing once again. We nearly get the sack, but instead he scrambles. And he's going to get quite a bit of yards right up the middle. 22 yards. So that, of course, will move the chains. He'll come out passing once again, and we finally get the sack. There we go. So that will bring up a long second 17. He'll come out passing, and he will find his man over the middle. He won't quite get the first down, but he'll bring up a third and four. And he'll come out passing once again, and we sack him. So this is going to bring up a fourth down 14. If we could get the ball back, we'd really be up to an amazing start. But no, he finds Percy Harvin all the way into the end zone that was a nice play especially on fourth down but it's all good you know we still got the lead so I'm gonna run a read option hand it off to Bo and he makes a dude miss and he is off to the races but I step out of bounds that on the first quarter uh, so first down town run off tackled Bo and still getting nice yards another first down there so that'll move the chains and first down town gonna run off tackled Bo uh, he trucks a man but uh, doesn't get too much only gets three so second seven I'll run off tackle the other way and uh, it looked like he might be able to find the edge there but a nice dive tackle by this dude so I'll bring up a third and four but I'm gonna uh, pass to Chase Kaufman and that'll get us first and goal I'm gonna do a counter but they had that from the beginning and we lose yards so second and goal I'm going to run a read option. I hand it to Bo, and he gets so close, about down to like the two-yard line. Third and goal. I'm going to run it to my fullback, uh, Joel Makovica, but he gets stuck on the line and uh, gets pushed back. So fourth down goal. What am I going to do? I'm going to roll out. I have pressure coming. I just throw it up, and that was just a bad play, man. I really thought I was going to score in that drive, but. I guess not, and this dude's going to come out passing, and we just uh, tip it away there. It wasn't even very accurate at all. Second down, 10. We get the interception, and I do a little hurdle there by accident, but Paul pulls Luzny makes up for our offensive mistake last drive. So we get the touchdown in the end anyways, and this dude's going to come out passing. He'll find his man, goes out of bounds. There's, a, there's only a, a little bit over a minute left, so, so he's going to have to score quick here, and... Uh, He's going to try to, like, kind of run with Cam Newton, but we, we get the sack. And there's only about, like, 40 seconds left. He'll come out passing, and uh, he's going to go deep. He's got one-on-one -on -one coverage, but Winfield makes the play. That was close. Uh, so third and 12, he's going to come out passing again, and he finds his man there. Really quick play to get a first down. Uh, 31 seconds left. He'll come out passing once again, and he finds Larry Fitzgerald. So he's getting some quick first downs there. First down in town. Come out passing. He'll uh, find Larry Fitzgerald once again with a crazy one-handed catch. 
Another first down, Tan will come out passing once again. And we knock the ball loose. I really would have loved the interception there, but you know, hopefully we can still stop him before the half. And uh, he's going to com come out passing again. Finds Ricky Williams for the first down. First and goal. 13 seconds left. This is going to be close. Will he score? Yes, he will. So that's going to narrow the lead, and I have barely any time left to score before half. Only four seconds after the kickoff. I do a stutter step, but nothing more with Tommy Frazier. So that's going to bring us to halftime. He gets the ball back, a chance to tie it up, and uh, he's going to have all day in the pocket, no pressure, and he finally finds his man over the middle for the first down to move the chains. First down, 10 will come out passing again. And, oh, Morris Claiborne almost had the interception. Second down, 10. Come out passing once again. And this time he'll find his man. That'll move the chains. And this dude's offense has been hard to stop recently. Uh, first down, 10. He'll come out passing. I nearly get the sack with Julius Peppers. But Bullware misses. McCoy misses. Seems like everybody's missing, but we finally bring him down to the 15. Uh, so that'll move the chains once again. And then uh, first down 10, come out passing once again. Good defense by Roy Williams. I love that guy. <laughs> uh, second down 10, I'll come out passing once again. This dude like only passes, but right there, Mario Williams gets a nice sack. So this is going to be a long third and 21. Can we stop him? Bring him before down. He'll come out passing. And he'll just get the first down, first and goal. How did we let that happen? Uh, but he's going to come out passing. And a good defense there over the middle. I kind of saw that coming. So second and goal. Come out passing once again. That's also incomplete. So third and goal. Can we get him to fourth down and make a stop? I don't know what to see. He'll come out passing. And no. He will score. So that's going to tie up the game near the end of the third quarter so we're gonna come out on offense running a read option I hand it off to Bo right up the middle and he just about gets the first down second one I'm gonna run a counter with Bo and we don't get the block we needed there and Bo's just running backwards he uh, didn't lose too many yards but he still loses three so it's gonna be third and four I'm gonna come out passing and I don't really see anybody open so I'm gonna run with Frazier and he's going to make some dudes miss. And he's going to get a nice block. So he's really going to get a lot of yards on the scramble. All, all the way inside the 15. So that was a long scramble for Tommy Frazier there. And we're going to uh, run out tackle with Herschel Walker. I don't know. Bo must have been tired or something. Uh, but he's back the next play. And we'll come out passing. And I'll throw an interception. What was I thinking? Watching the play again, I think I threw the least open player on that play. But... This dude's going to come out uh, on offense and he'll run the ball. Um, I'm sweating right now because this dude could take the lead and win, you know, and not leave him much time. So actually running the ball like this. Like, I don't really want to run commit because I feel like he's going to, like, burn me deep or something. But he's running the same damn run every time. And we're just not, like, ready for it. I mean, second four is going to keep doing this. He's going to get the first down. He's kind of playing with me right now because he knows that, like, I don't want to run commit. And he's going to keep doing this until I do. And I start to try to blitz my linebackers, hoping he doesn't notice, but still making the play. But, you know, and there's Peppers trying to make the tackle. But it's the same damn play every time. Third and four. He finally comes out passing, and he'll find his man for the first down. Just look how much clock he's wasted doing this, like, running the ball every play. It's, been, it's a pretty smart strategy by him, but right there, we're going to stuff it. No gain, second down 10. He's going to run it again, though, and this time, he's going to get the first down. Like At this point, I almost just want to let him score to leave me at least like a minute to work on offense and try to you know tie up the game. But uh, right there, he's going to get a really lucky catch. It'll be first and goal for him with... Just a bit over a minute, he's going to run it to his fullback, and he'll rumble into the end zone. And check it out, he's going for two. That's what I was thinking about doing. But he's going to, he thought of it first, I guess, and he's actually going to get it. So, not only are we down by a touchdown, but we're also down by a touchdown and a two-point conversion. But I believe in our team as we find Chase Kaufman for the first down. 
Nice way to start off the drive. I'm mostly going to be passing this drive for sure because I don't have any timeouts. But right there, I'm going to run with Tommy Frazier, and he's going to get the first down. Like, as long as you get the first down this game, you know, you get the 10-second runoff. If you run no huddle, you should be good. You, know, you won't waste much time. But right there, you find Chase Kaufman again for the first down. They're still going to come out passing. And Randy Moss got laid out there and somehow still held onto the ball. But see, unfortunately, he didn't get the first down, so he didn't get the 10-second runoff. So he lost some clock there. But Percy Harvin does get the first down the next play. Then uh, we're going to come out passing again, and we find Tyler Eifert over the middle. We're knocking on the door with just a little bit of time left in the game. We're going to run a read option keep. But Tommy Frazier loses yards there. Uh, so we're going to come out passing, second goal, and I find Tyler Eifert again, and he finds the end zone. But this is what it all comes down to, the two-point conversion. Chase Kaufman holds onto the ball after getting hit by Troy Palomalo, and that'll tie up the game. But this dude's got eight seconds to work with, and he's going to find his man over the middle with only four seconds left. He's going to come out passing, and you might think he was going to go deep, but instead he gets one more quick play, and so he's going to set himself up for a good chance at a Hail Mary. One second left. He's going to scramble out. He's going to throw it as far as he can, and it will be going to the end zone. It's tipped up, and he almost caught it there. That was too close to call, man. That was that got me sweating so much. But uh, in overtime, we will uh, be on defense first. So the first play of overtime, he's going to run the ball, and we're going to stuff that no gain. What's he going to do? Second down and 10. He'll come out passing. And then Ed Reed comes up with the clutch interception. That might have just won us the game. At this point, we just can't make any mistakes. And we might just win. I'm going to run up tackle with Bo. Nothing going there. He loses two yards. Second and 12. I'm going to run a read option. And I keep it with Tommy. He had some room to work with, but it closes up quick. I'm just not trying to pass the ball right now. Just trying to see if I can get anything uh, in the running game. I do another read option keep, and still nothing. So this is what it's going to come down to. Fourth and eight, he ices me. But can I get the long field goal? It is Janikowski, the best kicker in the game. And the kick is off. It's looking good. It's right in the middle. And it's a perfect kick to win the game. What a game, man. That was our first overtime game on the channel. And like when I was down by like eight with you know, one minute left, I definitely did not think that I would win the game. I knew there was a chance, but, you know, it just didn't look good for me, but, uh, that was crazy. What a win, like, my heart was beating like crazy, that, like, the whole fourth quarter, it was crazy, but, you know, uh, came out with the win, um, let's look at the stats here, so, we definitely dominated the rushing yards. He definitely dominated the passing yards. Uh, he had more turnovers, however. Um, he definitely had more uh, time of possession. You know, I don't think I played my best game. And, like, I know that because I've played this guy before. And normally I beat him by more. Um, but, you know, in this game, I threw that one interception and failed on that one fourth down. Like, those two touchdowns would have helped a lot. Not to mention all the dropped interceptions as well. But yeah, that's about it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah.